Right, well I'm on top. We're not right on the top, but I've... This is the, the, the top part. I'm working my way up to the very top. I've just wandered all down there where there's signs of old buildings at some point. Um, whether that's anything from the past, I'm not sure. I'll know once I do this archaeology course. I'll have been given lots of pointers. But I've learnt a bit from Time Team. All these humps and bumps look that you get everywhere are signs of settlement in the past when you get the disturbance of soil like this in a regular, irregular way. I would have thought. And then of course you've got beautiful views down here. I'm just backtracking. I've already been down to take a photo. Um, so this is Cadbury Fort. Cadbury Hill Fort. And as you can see, it doesn't seem very big or very high up when you're down by the road. But it does give command in positions, doesn't it? Up here, I should imagine you've got panoramic views all the way around. You can walk all the way around and get a good view all around. A very good defensive position. This is why all those years ago it was selected to be a defensive position. I can see um, Winscombe right over there, right in the distance, with Crooks Peak there, and then we've got, there's Winscombe, I did that walk last week, further over you'll have Hutton of course, um, down there somewhere we've got, um, there it is, Congressbury Church. I might go to today. I'm going to see how it goes, whether I do that today or not. <sighs> Further over, which we'll come to later, there's something called Julian's Hill. <sighs> now, I haven't seen any cow pack, but apparently cows do roam here. And somebody did tell me to be wary of cows. So I will. But I haven't seen any evidence of any at the moment. There's lots of uh, horrible gnat things. But big black things with dangly legs all around. They look like um, those horrible biting flies. Small horse flies. Right, so I'm approaching the top of the hill. I should imagine the very top is near those trees there. As I'm still progressing up. But as we go up, we can see the humps and bumps. This was once a very important settlement, apparently. I did look some of it up online. You can get all the history online now. And I can just attach bits. Um, it depends where I'm going to put this, because family tree, it'll all be a bit vague, really. But if I think of um, Alfred the Great, go back that sort of way. Yeah, this seems to be the main big area up here. Yeah, there's no evidence I have cows yet. So it's a hill. I never even would have noticed this hill, you know, because it's quite discreet from that point of view. As a defence, probably, that it doesn't look very threatening. I mean, it might have done when there were buildings and fires smoking from the top of it in the past. It's above the Cadbury Garden in centre. I just have a look up here and there were because we don't know, it's like if you went to Robbery Woods for the first time you didn't know your way around. It takes you longer the first time. Because once you know where you're going, um, it's easier. Right, what I'm going to do is go round back up there. I want to go up to the highest point, really. before I start taking more photos. 
This is Sheila's exploration of her beautiful Somerset on a beautiful sunny day in May. I can't remember it's the third or fourth. I think it might be the fourth today. Yeah, there's history about St. Conga um, and all that. There's always mysticism associated with places, isn't there? There's a lot of walkers out here as well, by the way, a lot of walkers. That looks like it could be an oak tree there. I'll turn the camera off in a minute. Oh, there we go, look. Yeah, it's an oak tree, that is. Over and out for now.